Hey guys, in a series of tweets, Nigerian social commentator Babatunde expressed strong criticism towards the president Tinubu's remarks regarding the nullification of the presidential election on account of 25% FCT votes. Babatunde known for his vocal stance on political matters, condemned Tunubu's alleged threat towards the judiciary and made ominous pred predictions about the consequences. Responding to Tunubu's statement, Babatunde Badomosi tweeted, This is a president openly threatening the judiciary because he knows his presence is that seat cannot be justified constitutionally. It's just pay for the course for a drug lord. Babatunde's choice of words highlighted his disapproval of the president, alleged disregard for constitutional principles and the rule of law. His subsequent tweet took a more confrontational tone as he boldly called for chaos and expressed his belief in the readiness of Nigerians to stand against any unjust actions. He warned, you will not live to tell the tale if you are removed by the tribunal and you start any nonsense. Do anyhow, you will see anyhow. Wahala. The message appeared to imply that Nigerians were prepared to resist any attempts to undermine their democratic rights. Furthermore, Babatunde Bademosi issued a strong warning to the judiciary, stating, With that said, if this man is not removed from the judiciary, they and their families will regret their decision for generations. Their generations yet unborn will curse their memories because the suffering he will bring to Nigerians for his personal enrichment and that of his family has just started doing press up. And as usual, the tweet has generated a lot of reactions from Nigerians. Nigeria does not need a devilish rule or ruler as the case may be, but a leader with human face. God bless Bademochi seriously. Nigerians, you can now see the actual truth. Man propose, God dispose. God is all power. In him we trust. This is a hate speech that is capable of causing political unrest. The consigned security outfit, I am looking unto you to do the needful. Nevertheless, in my elementary life, I came across the three arms of government and power. We are separated among these three arms. Why is the executive interfering in the activities of the judiciary and they are out to be independent? Two petitioners have been in court for a while now, claiming to be the winner of the last presidential election. May unfounded, many unfounded evidence against Bats have been tendered before the court yet. Some empty dumb scores have not taken their time and asked who among the petitioners won the last election. If Bart is removed as the president, who among the doe will be declared as the president? You fools, it is uncommon sense saying I come in peace. You are far from coming in peace. Your argument here is poor. The court is against the process, and therefore nullifying the entire process is a noble thing to do. Nobody is saying somebody else should be declared if he is removed. You are the non score human. Has the tribunal finished their job yet? You, Yoruba, who claim to be educated and arguable parade, the most lawyers in the land are openly encouraging a president, 
a president to threaten the judiciary and disobey the, con the constitution. I repeat, for that tenable statement, the judiciary owes it to Nigerians to throw him out of the office. He is a violent and dangerous man. If Tunubu is left as president, that is what will bring anarchy and chaos to Nigeria. President Bola Tunubu is your president. Take this and have everlasting peace. These are reactions from Nigerians and they keep on talking. This is why I don't personally say religion is good or outright bad. In every religion, we have God-fearing people. In every religion, we have God-fearing people. Those who can tell you as far as he is my brother, everything he do or say is good. May God empower and increase the people of good hearts in this country so that the hope of the new Nigeria will be established. Otherwise, all the effort will be in vain if the evil surpassed good. Are you sure you exercised your franchise in this election or you were part of this election? Please allow the will and the mandate of the Nigerian people to override your tribalistic tenderness. The judiciary should do the right thing. Your frowning or whatever is, is nothing to do with what is going on. Nigeria will be better. And the person that did not win the election must leave office. Okay, guys, these are reactions from Nigerians. So, as you can see, as you can see, please pardon me. This is getting, you know, uh, tougher. Bola Ahmed, Tunubudon, they threaten Nigerian judiciary, saying no, say he no win 25% in the FCT, which is in the Nigerian constitution. Say, but if they remove them as Nigeria, say Wala go bosso. And that is the reason why they have to remove, uh, they have to leave him even without winning the election. This is what Nigerians are saying that that cannot happen. I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly share. Your thoughts below the comment sections. Thank you.